In this podcast episode, neuroscientist Dr. Wendy Suzuki discusses her groundbreaking research on the brain and the profound impact of exercise on memory, learning, and cognitive abilities. Dr. Suzuki emphasizes the importance of maintaining a healthy brain through various tools and tricks, introducing the concept of brain plasticity, which suggests that the brain can change shape based on activities and lifestyle choices. Dr. Suzuki shares a personal revelation she had while working towards tenure at New York University. Feeling burnt out, she embarked on a river rafting trip to Peru, where she realized the positive effects of physical activity on her mood and cognitive function. This experience led her to shift her research focus towards understanding the effects of exercise on the brain, particularly in relation to aging and neurodegenerative diseases like dementia. The discussion delves into the benefits of exercise on brain health, citing studies that show a 30% reduction in the risk of developing dementia in individuals who engage in regular physical activity. Dr. Suzuki explains how exercise releases neurochemicals in the brain, promoting the growth of new cells in the hippocampus and improving cognitive function. She highlights the role of the hippocampus in memory formation and the prefrontal cortex in decision-making and attention. Dr. Suzuki also touches on the concept of brain plasticity by referencing studies on London taxi drivers who undergo intense spatial learning to pass certification tests. Successful drivers showed an increase in the size of the posterior hippocampus, indicating the brain's ability to adapt and change in response to learning and experiences. The conversation shifts to memory and attention, with Dr. Suzuki outlining four key factors that make memories stick. Repetition, association, emotion, and novelty. These factors play a crucial role in encoding and retaining information in the brain. She explains how marketers can leverage these principles to create engaging content that resonates with audiences and triggers memory recall. She explains the memory palace technique, where individuals associate new information with familiar locations to aid in memory recall. She also highlights the role of emotional resonance in making memories more memorable, as emotions solidify memories in the brain. The conversation takes an interesting turn when Dr. Suzuki reveals that she has brought a real human brain named Betty with her. She explains that the brain is a preserved human brain that has been used as a teaching tool in her department for many years. The discussion around the human brain leads to a deeper understanding of the complexity and importance of this organ in shaping our thoughts, memories, and behaviors. Dr. Suzuki then delves into the impact of lifestyle choices on brain health. She mentions that sedentary behavior, lack of sleep, and loneliness can all contribute to brain shrinkage and increase the risk of dementia and Alzheimer's disease. She also discusses the importance of a healthy diet, social connections, and mindfulness in promoting optimal brain function. The conversation shifts to the effects of social media on the brain. Dr. Suzuki explains that excessive use of social media can lead to increased levels of stress hormones in the brain which can damage connections and cells over time. She highlights the importance of real human connections and face-to-face -face interactions in promoting brain health and overall well-being. Dr. Suzuki shares her own brain routines, including a morning tea meditation, exercise, and hot-cold contrast showers. She emphasizes the benefits of these practices in promoting brain plasticity and overall cognitive function. She also discusses the negative effects of addiction to smartphones and social media, urging listeners to consider a phone detox to limit the potential harm to their brains and well-being. Dr. Suzuki highlights the prevalence of everyday anxiety, which is not clinical, but stems from concerns about global issues like climate change and political unrest. She stresses the impact of social media on anxiety levels, particularly in young women, who experience a higher increase in anxiety and suicidality. She explains the physiological aspects of anxiety, noting that it triggers the stress response and activates the sympathetic nervous system, leading to increased heart rate and respiration. The conversation shifts to the nature of grief and how Dr. Suzuki experienced profound loss when her father passed away from Alzheimer's and her younger brother died unexpectedly of a heart attack. She describes the waves of grief she felt 
and the wisdom she gained from navigating through such intense emotions. She reflects on the value of grief and how it signifies the depth of love one has for the departed individuals. She shares her journey of finding solace and empathy through these experiences, which have shaped her perspective on life and emotions. Dr. Suzuki also discusses the relationship between love and the brain, highlighting studies that show the activation of reward areas in individuals experiencing romantic love. She explores the concept of rejection and heartbreak, emphasizing the importance of experiencing a range of emotions to appreciate the highs and lows of life fully. She also touches on the role of spirituality in her life, noting a shift from a purely scientific mindset to embracing beliefs that cannot be proven through traditional scientific methods. The conversation turns towards the societal trend of increased loneliness and decreased social connections, leading Dr. Suzuki to emphasize the importance of community and human connection. She shares her passion for creating events that bring people together and foster meaningful interactions. She underscores the value of having a healthy brain and the significance of taking proactive steps to maintain brain health, especially in light of her family history with Alzheimer's. In closing, Dr. Suzuki expresses her mission to help others live better lives and shares insights from her books, Healthy Brain, Happy Life, and Good Anxiety. She discusses the reframing of anxiety as a valuable signal and the importance of compassion in humanity. When asked about her perspective on the best quality of humanity, she responds with compassion, emphasizing the ability to empathize with others' experiences.